This is Pavel from Firebase GenKit team. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to migrate to the latest version of GenKit uh, 0.9. So we'll be looking at an example that we have in our samples repository. Uh, it's a simple chatbot. So uh, like those, are, those samples are pretty simple to run. So we just do npm uh, run setup, uh, which will install all the dependencies and build things as necessary. And then we do npm start, which will bring up the, uh, the UI and the server. Here we see that uh, this is our Angular app started up. We're going to go to the simple browser. Here we're just going to pick uh, Gemini 1.5 Flash and press enter, and it's going to and we can chat, so we can say, explain this, and then it's just gonna, yeah, so this is a, a, a simple chatbot. So, um, yeah, but like if we look at the code uh, here, we have the server and the and the Angular app, and in the server, in the package.json, we see that this is still on version, I think it's version 0 0.5, and we would like to migrate this to version 0 0.9. So uh, let's go through this step by step and migrate this app. So the, the first thing we're going to do is go look at these dependencies and uh, the, these old dependencies for AI core dot prompt and flow have been combined into a single dependency called GenKit. Uh, and the version that we'll be installing is the one that's compatible with 0 0.9. And uh, and these plugins are still in separate packages, so we're still going to be using um, Vertex AI plugin. And here we can just say install the latest in 0 0.9. Uh, and in here, another thing is that we, we don't need a direct dependency on Zod anymore, so the it can be imported directly from GenKit, and we'll take a look here in a second. One other thing is in dev dependencies here, we've been uh, we had a de dev dependency on the GenKit CLI, and the GenKit CLI moved from GenKit package to GenKit CLI. And we'll update the also dependency here quickly. Say, okay, just update this to, uh, to 0 0.9. And we'll go ahead into our server and run npm install so that we can kind of update all of our dependencies here quickly. Okay, so. Uh, if we go to our server package code now, it suddenly does not compile because all of these packages are are not imported anymore. So we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, update a whole bunch of things here. So we, we don't need to import generate anymore. It will be used differently. We can remove this. We don't need configure gen kit anymore. We don't need flows anymore. Uh, so Vertex AI we still need, but uh, here we're uh, we're using some of the models from the model garden and uh, and some eval metrics. So uh, they've been split into multiple plugins now. So the the Vertex AI plugin with Gemini 1.5 Flash is still available in the Vertex AI package, but the uh, model garden is now in the sub package. So here we're going to be saying. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll need a another uh, plugin, Vertex AI Model Garden plugin, and we'll be using Llama uh, 3.1. So and yeah, so these are going to be our imports and and what else? And in here, Zod Zod is going to be imported from from GenKit package, and uh, Part Schema uh, is now just going to be imported also from. Uh, from GenKit package as well. So, and let's see, maybe we'll fix a few, uh, fix a few more. But uh, here we're, we're going to try to uh, update our configure GenKit block. So instead of configure GenKit, we're going to import just GenKit from the GenKit package, and we're going to be just calling GenKit. So and and GenKit now now returns uh, a GenKit instance. So we're going to put it in a constant here. 
and uh, and we're going to fix this Vertex AI plugin quickly. So we, we, we've seen that the model garden has moved into a separate plugin. So we're going to go ahead and uh, and add the model garden plugin. And, and we're going to be using these models and it's going to be Lava 3.1. Uh, and, uh, and evaluations also like we actually need to uh, import a separate plugin here for Vertex AI evaluation. It's going to be Vertex AI evaluation and Vertex AI metric type is going to be imported from that package. Yep. Okay. So, and we're going to also update the now install the evalu uh, evaluation plugin and these metrics. We're just going to, from here, just move it down, down there and clean this up. Okay, we just need to, to set the location there as well. Okay, so the uh, log level we don't need anymore and enable tracing and metrics is, are all going to be handled separately. So if, if you need to enable debug logging for the Jenkit framework, you can import uh, the logger, Jenkit logger from the from Jenkit logging package and you can say a logger set log level debug. So this is yeah, but you, you typically shouldn't need to do this unless you're de debugging some tricky issue. Other otherwise, this is not necessary. So here we'll just go, going to uh, quickly fix up these model references. And now here, so here we removed the define flow. So instead of just uh, using define flow function, we're just going to be referencing our Jenkit instance and we'll be defining flow on that Jenkit instance. So, and here we're actually using a streaming flow. So there's, so now there's a difference. So either you're defining a non-streaming flow or a streaming flow. And uh, here we'll be defining a streaming flow, which takes in a streaming, uh, streaming schema. And then we have a run block here that we're just also gonna quickly import it from Genket. Uh, and for the generate function, this, um, it's as simple as just adding AI in front of it. So also you're calling generate on the Genkit instance. And here, a couple of things has changed. So the history got renamed to messages. It should be as simple as that. Everything else should be as is. And, um, and here we can just return messages instead of calling to history. And, uh, and on the, on the generate response, uh, like text and output and all those, uh, things are now just simple getters. You know, those are not functions anymore. So here we updated our, our flow. And to start the flow server, we just do AI start flow, ser flow server. And here it actually now requires that you actually specify the list of flows that you want to serve. And we're going to say that we want to serve the chatbot. Okay, let's just uh, quickly build this and see if the server works. Okay, now now it all compiles. So uh, these are all the steps that are needed to migrate, uh, and this is relatively straightforward. So in order now to to run our server, uh, we uh, if we look at our package.json file. We have some scripts here and we had like a start script to uh, npx gen kit start. Uh, the gen kit, the gen kit start command has changed a little bit. So what we're going to do is, uh, so because we're installing the gen kit CLI locally here, we can just run npx gen kit start. Uh, and it takes extra parameters. Now you have to specify what you're actually running. So, and, and here we're just going to say uh, node lib index.js. So, and if we run this now, this should start and this should bring up our developer UI. So if we go simple browser here, we see, we get our, our dev UI and, and we see our, our models and, and flows. So, um, but let, let's go ahead and, and maybe just improve these start scripts a little bit. So our typical start script should be just so something like a node lib index.js. 
Uh, and but typically, you you want to like in development mode, uh, you want to you, you don't want to run you know JavaScript. You want to run the TypeScript directly. And, and the the easiest way to do this is to use TSX. And and f with TSX, you can actually just run TypeScript files directly. But in, in dev mode, like maybe you want to run it in watch mode. So like if you make edits, it automatically restarts. And in order to use TSX, we're just going to actually add, add it to dev dependencies here quickly. So, um, and run npm install. So now if we run npm run dev, so it is running in TSX watch mode. And if I go like make an edit to this file, you see like it automatically uh, picks up the changes and, uh, you know, and restarts the server. And uh, also like you know, in order to run it with in Genkit dev mode with the dev UI, uh, we can go and maybe add a Genkit dev script here. And we're gonna do npx uh, genkit start dash dash npm run dev. So we'll be running our dev script, which we'll be using TSX to uh, to watch our index.ts file and run it. So now if we do npm run genkit dev, so this will bring up the, uh, run our code and bring up the dev UI and we can, you know, go to the dev UI and, and you know, inspect our uh, genkit code. So yeah, like, um, the, these, some of these scripts help, um, you know, in, in development mode. So let's just go ahead here and, uh, c continue fixing, uh, upgrading this app. So we know that in this package.json, we have a start script that starts both the server and, um, and, uh, and in the Angular app. And here, instead of genkit start, we will be doing npm run genkit dev. And, uh, and our Angular, uh, Angular app here, we also need to uh, quickly update. So if we go and look at our chatbot here, uh, it is, it is, uh, in order to stream the, the responses, LM responses to the client, it's, it's uh, using this utility, just kind of a custom implementation of the, so that you can talk to the flow in streaming mode. Uh, but th th there's actually now a, a library that's, uh, that can be used directly here, provided by Genkit, uh, a flow client library. So we'll go ahead and open up our package.json for this, uh, for this Angular app. And we'll, we're going to add a, a depend, dependency on Genkit. This is going to be Genkit and we'll need the version 0.9. Um, and we'll go and run npm install. So that actually installs this Genkit package into our client app. And uh, let's go back to our chat and we'll just uh, replace this, this import here to, uh, to Genkit client. And Genkit client actually just exports stream flow uh, function. Uh, and if we look at the stream flow function here, it's just passing in the uh, URL of, of our deployed flow, which is pointing to our server. And here it just takes an input should be as simple as that. Uh, this is our kind of the flow input, and this is the URL of the flow. And uh, I believe that's it. So if we just now go run npm start on our app, as we did be, uh, did before, so everything comes up. So we see our, our, our server running, and we see our, uh, our chat UI came up here. We're gonna uh, go our, to our app. And we will try run this, and yeah, it all works. So we've uh, migrated our server to to uh, zero point nine, and we uh, in we simplified our client, so we can go and actually now can go and delete our utility here for streaming flows. All this hundred fifty lines of code just gone, um, and uh, yeah, this is how you uh, upgrade. Genkit to latest version 0.9. Thanks. Mm -hmm.